only troublesome since it's been a hot minute since I've seen you, okay? I've missed making YouTube videos so, so much. And today, um, you know, let me just update you a little bit on my life. I filmed about six hours worth of footage and I lost all six hours worth of footage and I just needed a mental break. And I'm here and I'm feeling like super, super energized and I just wanted to enjoy spending time with you guys in this way, you know? It means a lot to me. Um, the whole process is really therapeutic and even though I don't have like some crazy big following, I really enjoy um, interacting with a few of you guys that I do. Uh, if you hear some knocking in the background, it's because the radiator is coming on. It, it, it's cold outside, so you know, okay. Well, since it's cold outside, I decided to warm us up with those fall colors, and here we go. I'm a little bit rusty, guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I feel so abnormally nervous filming this today, um, so just bear with me if I just seem like loopy. We're using my favorite uh, foundation, the NARS. Um, liquid longwear foundation. I'm gonna take a couple of pumps on that on this disposable sponge. Anybody who has been a frequent um, viewer, you'll notice that my skin looks a little bit okay today. Um, I don't know what I did. This foundation is actually really, 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 really warming me up. Um, I'm getting into my winter complexion right now, so. I think soon I need to switch out my foundations, but we'll see how that goes. All right, so this is as even as this coverage is about to get because that's as much time that I want to spend on that. You know, I actually want to start applying now um, some under eye highlights to just get some dimension back in my face. This here is actually the double lasting cushion. Um, it is actually supposed to be a foundation for some people. I am not that target audience. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of this cushion and pat that on the opposite end of this disposable sponge and then put that all underneath my eyes. Guys, I missed doing YouTube so much. Um, but I decided, you know, I'm going to do this like health kick thing. Um, you know, um, I'm not pleased with how my health has been going right now. So I decided that I'm going to start improving upon that. Um, what I'm doing right now, I'm just going to just detoxing, um, detoxing a lot. I just feel yucky inside. And, you know, I, I research a lot about herbal medicine and stuff. So I have like mugwort and burdock root and sarsaparilla and um, some what is it strawberry leaves i think or some, something like that um and it's supposed to help you know flush out any toxins in my system um and then just get me off right because lately i've been feeling like excessively tired like last night i slept for a whole like nine hours and it's not like I don't sleep. I sleep like all the time. So that's just my body telling me like, yo, you just need to start taking care of yourself. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and I'm gonna update you guys on that little journey that I'm doing right now, okay? Cause I think it's important that we share cause sharing is caring and all that, okay? So I'm gonna apply an ample amount of this product underneath my eye. Cause I want to look as awake as humanly possible <laughs> um, so the more the better in this case well as much as i can actually blend out without looking like a clown now i actually want to add a, um some sort of powder thing that i have it is made by black opal i think if i can find it um that'd be awesome all right yeah it's a black opal um loose powder um i like to let this like bake over my foundation actually instead of the concealer because it's actually like my flesh tone color so i'm going to take a, a good portion of that um i just want you guys to see how much product comes off <laughs> it's quite a bit um so i'm gonna take a little bit of that while it chokes me out and then dust this underneath uh, that concealer type of foundation thing that i just put and yeah just heat up my face <laughs> i guess um so that i can have a transition before i start using my bronzer so i'm actually not gonna blend that out just yet uh, i'm gonna let that sit there for a little bit 
And then actually I'm gonna work on my lips just a, just a smidgen. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a wet wipe, baby wet wipe, take that over my finger here, and then just wipe off the excess uh, foundation that found its way over there. We have some of the essential oil. Just drop that on my lips. It's a generic um, rose water. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think I need to really talk about it that much. Oh, I didn't mention. So I like using mixed mediums and I never really talked about that before on this channel, but I have a special mixed medium that I'm going to actually use in this makeup look and you'll find out at the end. So surprise! Um, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, yeah, so as my lips are prepping and they feel a lot softer, so I'm like super grateful towards that. I'm going to now set the tone for that bronzer. Using that same um, brush that I was talking about earlier in the video, I'm gonna tap out the, the excess powder that might be there. Then I'm gonna just swoosh that around and blend this out. Make sure you pull it into your hairline and it's okay you see how there's like that stark line um that's fine um because what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to blend that out further but for right now i just want to make sure the product has been applied okay now that we've done that, I'm going to take a little bit more of the powder from before, that loose powder, <clears throat> and build on that over here. Can you see how that just blends away that line? Okay, blending. Okay, transition. <laughs> The eyes. There's a lot of dust all over the place. Next, I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. As you can see, I really like this product since it's been used. If you wanted to know what the packaging looked like, this is what it looks like. If you guys have been following me for a hot minute, you guys would know um, that I love using that stuff. And it's been discontinued for a while. Um, and I talk about it like almost every time I use it. But I just want everybody who's a new watcher to know that. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to be using this little flat brush here and just applying this all over my upper lid. I don't want to take out too much. One, because who wants all that product on their eye? Two, because I really like this um, concealer, so I want it to last as long as possible. Okay, so <laughs> we have a base down. That took a little bit longer than I thought. I didn't know I was so rusty, but you know, guys, <laughs> we're going to make it through. Okay, um, what I'm actually going to use to finalize this blush is going to be this Kaja Beauty Bento Box. Um, it's called Orange Blossom, and I'm going to use the same brush as before. And this is going to function as both my highlights as well as additional blush. Do you see the color? I don't know if you guys can see the color, but it's like beautiful. In like weird moments of my life, I almost feel like I just want to take that eyeshadow and rub it all over my face. And I feel like that that's how we should just live our life. A glorified Oompa Loompa. <laughs> using the same brush I'm gonna come in with the lightest tone over here it's this nice mm, mm, champagne color and I'm gonna dust it over the highlight point up here so it has a little bit you know more oomph. I'm gonna put an ample amount on the center of my nose 
because I want that really to pop out and I want it to feel like glamorous, very glamorous. And then just use my finger to blend that out. I'm actually gonna come in using this Prism Eyes Profusion Cosmetic Palette. It's like $4 or something. Um, I found it at like a Marshalls. And I'm gonna be using like, a, but you, if you have your own palette, um, I'm using the same uh, brush that I used for the concealer earlier. I'm gonna use a reddish tone. Uh, the one that I'm using here is called Totally. Um, and then I'm just going to actually use that to be the the part that cleans up like over over the crease or whatever. So what I'm going to be using now is this orange tone here. It's like a very light orange. Um, I don't know if this helps you to see the orange a little bit more. And I'm going to pat that over that red. Okay, like so. So I ended up pulling this eyeshadow pretty high, um, but I'm actually pleased with this. Now I'm going to use this like mustard tone using the same brush. I'm just going to tap off any excess, wipe it off on like a napkin cleanse pad thing. So it's like kind of damp. Um, and I'm going to use that mustardy tone in this um, palette. It's called Benefit. And then pat that in the center portion of the eye. This is like a, a placeholder because I'm actually going to add some more sparkle there. Add this deep yellow. Um, this is like my favorite in this palette. Uh, you can actually tell it's my favorite because it's like all dug out now. <laughs> um, and then just put that in the center of my eye. Okay, so now we're gonna work on our eyebrows. Now, most people were like, girl, you should have did that in the beginning, but not me, because what I usually end up doing is I accidentally end up messing it up, <laughs> getting stuff all over them, having to redo them. So I'd rather not do all that and just take care of it right now. So what I'm gonna do, this eyebrow pencil, it has like a reddish hue. This is from Tolly Moly. It's a lovely eyebrow pencil. Um, I don't know what shade it is. I'll probably link it. Um, but I'm going to use this because it's like a warmer brown and then I'm just going to use that to like line, um, what's already there and yeah, hopefully this helps. Okay, so I've completed the eyebrows. I'm actually just gonna put a couple of traces of a darker brown in here just to, you know, give it some more body and make it look like eyebrows instead of just like a, a pigment. Okay, sweet peas, I was able to find the lipstick. I'm gonna use this cocoa and on the outer perimeter of my lips. Now, I want you guys to see that I applied it very messily. That's intentional. No, I'm not inebriated. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this color and then just blend that out all over my lips. I'm doing this because um, I wanna add a little bit of depth into the lips so they're not so boring, you know? Um, and my lips alone, they don't have much shape, so I figured this would add some shadow ingredient 
you know, necessary. And I'll also mute this orange out a little bit because it's pretty bright. Yeah, because it's giving me a mustache effect. So I'm going to brighten it a little bit by using this nice fluffy brush here and then mixing it with this yellow uh, eyeshadow. I'm going to take that brush and dust it all over the top lip. And then I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, and then apply it a little bit in the middle. So I'm actually going to use my pinky um, and then just pat that out in the center of my lip. Okay, my loves, and this is the final look. So <laughs> now... For you guys, you can stop here. You can add some lashes or whatever. But for me, I told you guys that there was going to be a mystery item, um, mixed mediums in this. So I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to fix up my hair a little bit. And then you're going to see what the mystery um, piece is for this look. As you guys can see, I told you that I was going to do a mixed medium piece. So this is it. This is the lucky um little thing that I actually use. <laughs> it's still wet. Um, but yeah, this is actually a real flower from my garden. And because it's fall, it's actually like super cold outside. Um, this is one of the only flowers that actually survived um, the drastic change in temperature. So I just wanted to utilize its beauty while it was still here. And um, I soaked it in apple cider vinegar and water just to um, disinfect it. Uh, neutralize any sort of the pollen that was in there because I'm highly allergic. It's like sort of like dissipating inside of the air so it smells very floral in my room to which I'm very grateful. If you guys haven't already please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification to receive further updates anytime that I upload and my Instagram is precarious underscore mine, Snapchat is xmira.mirax and if you have any sort of collaborative ideas or business inquiries you can hit me up at at miracle and termine at gmail.com mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lip, lipstick check i love you guys so so much and i hope to see you guys next time okay bye